What's up, what's up YouTube? It's your girl Faye. How are you guys? Hopefully you're all doing great. I'm doing well. Um, yeah, it is Friday. Woo -woo. <laughs> I am so excited for the weekend. I have been like really, really tired lately and I'm trying to catch on to whatever's trying to catch me, but whew, I'm tired y'all. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing great. Like I said, hopefully you guys all had an awesome week. Um, yeah, so let's see what's been going on. T.I. is out. He's in. He's out. He's in. Beyonce is pregnant. Congratulations, girl. Um, like she watches my videos, right? <laughs> Beyonce is pregnant. Um, Jay-Z tweeted Chris Brown. He didn't clap for Chris Brown at the VMAs. Um, Rihanna dumped Jay-Z as her manager. Um... Little Wayne apparently wears um, jeggings. Um, I think that they were little Rajanae's pants that just got stuck in his clothing. Um, no big deal, you know. They probably washed their clothes. She probably came over for a weekend. They washed clothes and then they they skinny jeans got twisted. So they were Rajanae's pants, and he, it was time for him to go on stage and perform. So what the heck? <laughs> so yeah. So all of that said, um, the whole Ti thing, y'all know. But for those y'all who don't know. I get real riled up about the whole T.I. thing. So, me and Miss Chanel 9, we've been talking about it, like, the past couple of mornings. So, we're probably going to do a video together to address the T.I. issue. She has valid points. I have valid points. Yeah, we're going to keep it like that. Um, so, we'll talk about that. Um, what else? What else? What else? Yeah, that's what's pretty much been going on. Um, it's all relative, I guess. Um, that's when, when I've been watching videos about all this week. Um, yeah, so I wanted to come to you guys today to talk to you about um, this new law that they have in the state of Florida. And it's called the Pull Up Your Pants Law. And it's pretty much a law that says that kids cannot wear their pants sagging to school. Okay? So I guess what you do on the weekend is your business. But when you come to school... You're not sagging your pants. Um, I, for one, think this law is great. I think that um, kids should know that it's not acceptable. You know, it's there's a time and a place for everything. If you choose to to um, sag your pants, do it on your own time. I think that school should be respected a lot more than it is. So maybe, you know, the way you dress is also part of that. Um, I remember when I was younger, I couldn't wear open toe sandals to school. Um, like, not with your whole foot out. But now with this whole gladiator era, everybody's wearing open sandals to school. My niece, we bought her shoes for school, and all of them were open toe. Like, she was okay. to. I mean, it's allowed for them to wear it. Back in my day, it wasn't. So, times change. Fashion changes. Um, you know, we went from mini skirts and leather sometimes comes in and out and um jeggings are in right now you know there was a time when baby dolls and tights were, were was in style but then it went away and now it's back again um there's always something hipsters bell bottoms well bell bottoms i hope it don't come back platform shoes um flare jeans all of those my point is that fads come and go and i think that it's okay i think that it's okay for us to let go of the saggy pants thing. Like, really, it is. I tried to do some research on where the whole thing originated from. The only two things I found was this. One, number one, slaves. Not being able to, of course, own clothes that fit them. Um, oftentimes, their pants would sag and, you know, they weren't given belts and given things that they needed per se. So, that was one thing I, I read. The another thing that I read was that people um you know that your clothes would sag based on hand-me-down clothes from relatives or whatever um i'm gonna take a leap and say that a majority of kids that are that are um sagging their clothes the majority is not now for kids who are getting hand-me-down clothes parents are buying these clothes for these students or allowing the kid for these kids or allowing the kids to buy their clothes for themselves so i think that as parents or as adult figures in our kids lives that we should put our foot down and and have them be more proactive in what's going on about them our children are representatives of us and our family and they're extensions of us and i think that what people think about them does matter in the sense that you don't want your good name to be 
kind of, you know, talked about or anything. I don't want my nieces and nephews to be to be known for, oh, the kid that always sags their pants. Let them be known for getting A's and B's and for being good kids. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm going to get off my self box about that. So I read that, I read an article about a senator in Florida, in Orlando. He went to school, first day of school, and had 200 belts. And any kid who had their pants sagging, he handed them a belt. And I thought that, that was awesome because, you know, I remember I wasn't allowed to leave the house without a belt. My brothers weren't allowed to leave the house without a belt. Like, it just wasn't, it just wasn't the norm. So how a boy can leave the house without a belt, I don't know. And there's this new, new thing called SAGS jeans where they have adjustable snaps on boxers so that they can sag at different levels. Stop it. I'm not knocking the hustle. I got my own little hustle going on. Stop it. <laughs> we don't need to sag pants. So anyway, that's pretty much it for me. I just wanted to talk to you guys about that. I'll put the article in the video I'm talking about below so you guys can take a look at it if you want. Let me know what you think. Do you guys think that this is a fade that we can let go of or do you, uh, a fad that we can let go of or do you guys think that it's not a big deal? Let me know. So we'll talk it out. Anyways, Hope you guys are all doing awesome. Um, this is Labor Day weekend. Be sure to have a safe and happy Labor Day weekend. I plan to sleep. I'm not doing anything. I was going to go out. Well, I don't know. That's still up in the air. If I go out, you know, I'll probably take some footage. Um, if you are in New York City, be sure to wave the flag for me. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been to Labor Day Parade in a long time. Last year I went to a carnival here. This year I'm planning carnival already. Carnival here is October 5th weekend. I'm already excited about our carnival that's coming up here in Florida, in South Florida. Um, so I think next year I'm going to do Labor Day. I, I want to. So anyway, we'll see. But if you're in New York, wave a flag for me. Juve mask, all that stuff. I hope you guys have a blast and be safe. All right? So remember, be, uh, be encouraged, <laughs> be blessed, stay positive, all that good stuff. And I will talk to you guys soon. All right, bye.